Uh, welcome once again to my YouTube channel, Pearson at Excel International Maths by Mr. Kamoto. And um, we are continuing to explain this book, Pearson at Excel International A Level, Pure Mathematics 3, in this particular video, and specifically example 2 of chapter number 6, which is differentiation. And it is... Um, important to note that um, we have previously in the previous videos we have let's talk about previously previously we have understood that when y is equals to the sine of x then dy dx is equals to the cosine of x that is shown in video one in this particular chapter when y is equals to the cosine of x then dy dx is equals to minus the sine of x. And consequently, we are also told that if y is equals to the sine of kx, the sine of kx, then dy dx is equals to k, which is a constant and was a constant before uh, the cosine of uh, kx, because the differential of sine anything is cosine whatever it is so we have k cosine kx and if y was um, cosine kx then it follows that dy dx is equals to minus k sine kx that is something that should never escape your mind as far as differentiation is concerned so in example two, because we are going to use this um, fundamental truth or standards in example two and part A, why we are supposed to find the differential, find dy dx given that y is equals to sine 2x. So in this case, dy dx, it is already in this format y is equals to sine 2x. So the dy dx, or rather the differential, is going to be 2 cosine 2x. It's going to be 2 cosine of 2x. And that is just like it. Part B, if y is equals to cosine of um, 5x, then dy dx, this one is already in this format, cosine 5x, dy dx is minus 5 negative 5, the sine of 5x. And part C, if y is equals to, y is equals to 3 cos x, 3 cosine of x plus 2 sine of 4x, 2 sine of 4x, then this one, you realize that it is in two parts. And we have to differentiate each one of them polynomially or independently. Then dy dx is equals to 3 sine x, because this one is already uh, minus 3 sine x. And how does this become minus 3 sine x? If you would want to expand this, it's going to be 3. Then the differential of the cosine of x is minus the sine of x. Uh, and that is why it becomes minus 3 uh, sine x. And then you differentiate this other part where 4 times 2 um, becomes 8 and then the cosine of 4x. So the entire dy dx becomes minus 3 sine of x plus 8 cosine of 4x minus 8 cosine of 4x and that is just like it we have explained example to again visit my youtube channel uh, pearson at excel international maths by mr kamoto and subscribe and let us reason together okay